outside 45s or outside large degree angles. You can create this easily with VersaLock. And kind of the tip of the day is you take your framing square, a 12 inch framing square, and at the four inch, you make a mark. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it to the back corner of the block. We're gonna make a mark. And then we're gonna make another mark to fit this block below. So this is gonna be a split on the front and this is gonna be a saw cut. On the next course, we're gonna do the exact same thing, only we're gonna do it on the opposite side. We're gonna to go to the back side of the block. We're gonna mark at four inches there, a 45, and then we're gonna saw cut back this side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dovetail together a 45. Now like a good cooking show, we've already done it for you. We took and split, oh, I give me a bag. we split our change of direction there and we saw cut back to be able to include the next block. Now Joe's gonna place the next block. Our change of direction is at the split. And what this does is it's gonna dovetail the corner together so you don't have any seams. From the corner, we're gonna build off in each direction. And third course is same like the first. Large angled outside corners and outside 45s can be made with VersaLock by splitting at the desired angle to create the same split face textures as the front of the block and saw cutting, removing extra material so you can fit the next block to the side of it. You alternate splitting and saw cutting the block on the right hand side and the left hand side every other course. This creates different bond. It is not recommended to create miters on corners. This creates weak points where potentially walls can move and separate independently of each other over time.